Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And as y'all can see, this is story time. So, I do not like my lipstick. So, don't y'all talk about it. If y'all don't like it either, I don't like it. But guess what I don't feel like doing? Changing it. I put it on. It was on. I ain't feel like having to wipe it off. Pick something different. Whatever. So, as y'all see from the title, I had this boyfriend. I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to call him, call him Bobby. Okay. I'm, I'm, calling, I'm just going to call him Bobby. Um, well, I've, I've never dated a Bobby. So, Bobby, my boyfriend. We were dating or whatever. This was, I was 20. I was not 21 yet. And we met. It was a weird thing how we met, <laughs> first of all. So, met him kind of sort of through rain me and rain was hanging or whatever we had another mutual friend who we knew from high school and i think she was like talking to him or whatever uh we was all hanging out at her house one time and some kind of way he got my number i don't know how it happened i don't know how he got my number but me and the other girl we weren't really friends um she was more rain's friend than my friend i didn't i didn't really know her like that or whatever so i met him over there at her house or whatever. So me and him kind of hit it off. She, that wasn't her boyfriend. They had like maybe like stuff together or something stupid. Anywho, so some kind of way we ended up talking, got my number. We got kind of cool. We went on a couple dates to the dollar show. <laughs> we took a couple movies. I think we went out to eat. Um, he had like met my family or whatever. So we was like boyfriend and girlfriend. And he was a cute guy. You know, Bobby was cute. He's my type. And, you know, <laughs> we had dance and bangs or whatever. And Bobby, after like two or three weeks of us dating, things started to change. Things is a little bit weird. It was little stuff. So, Bobby broke up with me. Okay, he did. He said, you know what I'm saying, I think we should just be friends. Um... I don't really want to have a girlfriend right now. We're really cool. And I'm like, what? You know, look, we have great sex. We have fun. We laugh. We joke. It's, it's a great time. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I know. I think we should just be friends. I was like, I was upset, okay? I like Bobby. And um, for like <laughs> for like two weeks, I was like, you really want to break up? Like, we because we, we still talked. We, we stayed friends. And for like two, four weeks, I tried to like get back with Bobby. And then we were sitting somewhere and Bobby crossed his legs. And I don't think I'd ever realized Bobby crossing his legs. And Bobby crossed him like this. And I was like, he, cr he crossed his leg like a woman. And I'm like, okay, I ain't gonna worry about it. So I took note mental picture and then after that we were still hanging out we were still friends we have usual friends no, at this point i'm hanging out with him rain you know his best friend so we was always just hanging out together it was at this point now we just four friends because i'm slowly but surely thinking i don't think bobby broke up with me because of me okay so it was just little stuff how he would cross his legs uh he was sometimes like girl and he would do that whole girl and i'm like girl and he would do little stuff, and when he would do little stuff, me and Rain would look at each other. Like, you see that? You see that? And then, from that point on, I said, Bobby got it. Okay? Bobby like boys. Okay? With men, not boys, men. He like men, okay? He's Andrew Caldwell. He has been delivered. Not really. And I'm like, did I have a gay boyfriend? Like, that time I dated a gay guy, he wasn't gay when I was dating him. He was not. He was very manly. He was very deep voice. All of that, okay? Um, very, 
affection and that stuff. It was a great time. But after we broke up, and after I started trying to date him, I noticed he started, I guess, being himself more than normal. And it would be little stuff. The whole girl, he would be crossing his legs, smacking his lips. He started wearing lip gloss. I mean, he didn't dress any differently. He didn't like, it wasn't like he was a drag queen or like that. You know, nothing like that. But it was little stuff. And me and Ryan came to the conclusion, Bobby gay and Bobby date girls when he don't want to be gay. Because Bobby's best friend did not like gay people, like at all. Um, I mean, he didn't hate them, but he wouldn't befriend one and that's just honest truth see so I'm like Bobby dates girls to have his best friend not know that Bobby is gay because when Bobby is with his best friend that we're gonna call we're gonna call him nothing because I don't want to slip Bobby's when Bobby and his best friend are together they act exactly the same and I remember you know how some friends act alike because they're just friends and they kind of act alike? No. We realize Bobby is imitating his best friend. And that's what it is because his best, best friend wasn't around. He's a completely different person. So, um, we was, for like a month later, we were still hanging out or whatever. Friends is friends and friends. We were like best friends at this point. You know what I'm saying? He's not one of our best friends now. And I said, do you have anything you want to tell me, Bobby? Girl, no. Nah. And I'm like, see? Stuff like that. I was like, look. Whatever you're going through, it's cool. I don't mind. I just need you to be honest. You know what I'm saying? And he said, what you mean? I was like, are you gay? <laughs> and he was like, what? And I said, he said, why would you say that? I said, little things, Bobby, little things. I'm like, you just you act different when you ain't around best friend. You say little things when you ain't around best friend. You cross your lips. It's just little, little, little stuff. And then he was like, um, I'm bisexual, but you know what I'm saying? I just don't like to act on it. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I'm straight. Sometimes I'm gay. I was offended. Cause I'm like, so I was like a trisk. I wasn't even something real. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, when I'm like, when I'm straight, I'm fully, fully straight. He's like, with me, once I start craving other things I had to cut the girls off and he was like but you we were like we were we was friends he like so I just stayed your friend and I was like but we had sex Bobby like we had, I mean we had, it was protected sex don't get me wrong but we I'm like but I can't I say so I had to start asking questions Bobby like okay so what have you done what have you done boy what what's going on and baby he had done things you know, he, he was gay. Okay. I'm, that's what I'm saying. He was gay. And I was just flabbergasted. I'm like, I had a gay boyfriend. Like, at what I never in life thought I would have a gay boyfriend. But it also made sense why he broke up with me. Because boy, if somebody break up with me, I'd be like, whatever. Um, but yeah, I was like, he was like, he's gay. Like, gay, gay. Gay to the point of where, when he would be around my family, uh, certain family members male family members you know cousins my brother um will be like because in, in those months was when people would say to me he gay and i'm like no he's not yes he was and you know when he finally came clean to me i was like i can't believe that you literally date women and you don't tell them that you're at least bisexual. I am a person where I believe wholeheartedly that you should be as honest and upfront with people so they know they're getting themselves into. Okay. My gay ass boyfriend, just, I mean, he made me so mad. And so after he came out to me or whatever, he came out to rain. We was cool with it. So we said, look, are you really bi? Or are you saying that because you don't want other people to feel like you're gay? And it was like a, a struggle for like months of us having different conversations and him having different situations and, you know, him talking to guys and talking to girls and, you know, all these things or whatever. And it got to the point to where every time he would get a girlfriend, he would kind of stop being my friend and rain friend because he didn't want us telling the girlfriend he was gay. But I'm like, why, why tell somebody you dating, you gay? If you straight at that point in time, that's on you, bro. I, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm like, but when we talk, I will be honest with you. But I'm not going to go say nothing to them. 
So he did that for he had I don't know how many girls in between this time. Um, so one day we said, look, he thought he said, you know, um, I think I'm just gay. And I said, okay, I love you regardless. You know, we're still friends or whatever. We're best friends. And he was like, I need to tell my best friend, my male best friend. And I was like, okay. And so he said, but I don't, I don't think he's going to accept me when I tell him this. And, you know, I can't, I can't take it if he can't accept me for being gay. He said, okay. So then he called his best friend, the male best friend. And the male best friend was pissed off. Male best friend called me at 1 a.m. Because for some reason, Bobby called him at 12.30 a.m. to talk about it. Best friend called me and said, can you believe Bobby just called me and said this, da, 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 da. and I was like, what? And he was like, hold on, I'm going through I said, they called me on the three-way, that's how long ago the three-way call. Three-way phone call, you know, they both on the phone. He like, is it true? Is what he's saying true? And I said, best friend, yes, Bobby is gay. He has been for a while, and he just didn't think you can handle the conversation. And he couldn't. He was upset. I can't believe it. He was like, you know, we've hung out together. I've been necking in front of you. You know, we slept with girls together. You know, you were you just doing that so that you could be with me? And it's all these things that he would say, bitches. I'm like, bruh. Bobby is just heartbroken because best friend is like, you know what I'm saying? I can't accept you right now. I, I, I can't do that. So best friend hung up and for like again months it was consistent conversations between him between bobby between best friend or rain you know all of us is in on this and eventually best friend said okay you can't be gay around me <laughs> he said when we hanging out you know i i don't want you you know being feminine i need you to be the same person i've known because i can't have it any other way so bobby agreed okay cool we at, where did we go? We went to the movies. We all went to the movies. Me, Rain, Bobby, and best friend. And after the movies, we went to Denny's to eat. So, it was late or whatever. We all ordered our food. The food came. Bobby ordered sausages. Okay, he ordered sausages. And on his plate, when he was eating his food, he picked up the sausage. He put it in his mouth. And he said... Mm. I love how meat tastes in my mouth. And when he said it, bruh, best friend pushed the table back, threw his fork, because he had a fork, he threw his fork on the thing, made a loud clank, and he was like, this is some motherfucking bullshit. I'm like, oh, we in Denny's in the white neighborhood, don't knock no damn food now. Nah. It was how Bobby said it that made it real, real gay. Man, best friend was so god dang on pissed. And he like stormed out the restaurant. This is, I can't, why would you say something like that? And Bobby was laughing <laughs> because he said, I didn't mean it that way. I said, Bobby, you said it like you were saying, I love sucking dick. And this is dick in my mouth right now. That's how you said it. That's how it came off. That's why me and Rain bust out laughing. I say, but you know, best friend didn't like that. We had to literally talk best friend off a ledge to come, even come back in and finish eating. And we were used to Bobby saying things. I mean, Bobby would tell me stuff that he would do. And I would just have to listen to it. Like, And I don't have any problem with gay people at all. But it's just something when yo, it's a person you slept with telling you things they've done that you didn't imagine them doing when you were sleeping with them at the time. My ex-boyfriend is really gay. Like, and he was gay when I was with him. I just didn't know it, you know. I just had no idea, and I don't know, cause it's like that I turned him gay, but I found out before me he was doing gay things anyway, so it ain't nothing to do with me and my vagina, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, I, that was the only gay guy experience. It was just, I mean, it's weird to find out your guy you like is gay, cause you've already had sex with him, and it wasn't gay sex. It was like normal sex. It was very freaking weird it was a weird point in my life where i was like nothing makes any sense because how is it possible that i i got i tell you my nails um how is it possible that i literally was with a gay guy for like a month and i had no idea until he broke up with me i finally was gay anywho did not mean for the story to be so long but i wanted to you know just tell y'all that you know what I'm saying one point in life if you have a gay boyfriend you can move on from it and you know be a better person anywho I am Jaylee. This is Jaylee's Corner. Peace.